Tired of MGO3? Tired of MGO2? Did you know that you can still play the original Metal Gear Online for the PlayStation 2? Thanks to the folks over at SaveMGO.com, you can play this game again. Now there isn't a whole lot of tutorials out there to help you set this up, so I decided I'd make my own to help pique interest in the game again. Now what you'll need is a memory card that contains Free McBoot, which is a soft mod for the PlayStation 2, a USB stick that contains 4 gigabytes of space, a PlayStation 2 console, and an Ethernet connection directly from your modem to your console. Just keep in mind that your PlayStation 2 console can't have a model number higher than 8000, or the mod will not work. When you're ready to go, download the files from the link in the description. Copy and paste the folders as you see them on your screen onto your USB stick. In the folder DVD, make sure there's a copy of Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence Disc 2. I will not provide you a copy of the disc, so you need to obtain that on your own. When you do, make sure the ISO's file name matches the one on screen. And again, just to clarify, this copy of MGS3 will be an ISO format file. After the files have transferred over to the USB stick, plug it into your PS2 and fire it up. When you fire the console up with Free McBoot, this is the home screen of the PS2 now. Tab down to U Launch Elf and hit X. You should reach a menu with a white screen. Hit the circle button to select and enter it. MC0 is your memory card. MC1 is your secondary memory card. And the other folder that will be important to us is the mass folder. The mass folder is your USB stick. Open the USB stick and go to the OPL folder. Once you're in the OPL folder, select the OPL file and hit circle. You should enter a new screen here. Once you hit this new screen, restart the PlayStation 2 console. After you restart your PS2, open U Launch Elf again. When you open the memory card slot that has free McBoot, you'll notice now that there's an OPL folder in it. Go back to the USB and copy the OPL file and paste it in the OPL folder in your free McBoot memory card. Now it's time to set up the OPL. Hit start to enter the menu and go into your settings. Make sure that the USB device start mode is set to auto and that the default menu is set to USB games. Hit OK and after that save your changes. If the cover art and disc art does not appear, hit menu again and enter display settings. Make sure enable cover art is on and hit OK, then save your changes. Back at the main screen, hit triangle to access the cheat settings. Make sure that enable PS2 RD cheat engine is on and that PS2 RD cheat engine mode is auto select cheats and then hit OK. After you modify your cheat settings, save the changes. If you've done everything correctly, you should be ready to go, so go ahead and fire up your copy of Subsistence. Now we'll go ahead and set up the memory card just like we did back in 2006. Once you're in the game, select Metal Gear Online and proceed through to selecting a memory card. Once you've selected a memory card, now you'll enter the network settings. Next you'll enter a blue screen where you can add your settings. Make sure your ethernet connection is connected to the back of your PS2 because your system is going to do a network connection test. Follow what I've selected here on the screen. Make sure you set your settings for the DNS to manual so that we can connect properly to the Save MGO server. Just make sure the DNS in your network settings matches the one on the screen. Once your settings are all squared away, Save everything and go back to Metal Gear Online.
Once you're back in the game, the game will prompt you to enter Metal Gear Online. Select first time as your settings and access your memory card for your network settings. Once selected, your console will connect to the online servers. And from here, you can create a username and a password. Just keep in mind when typing that MGO defaults in capital letters. After you create your username, you'll create a gamer ID as well. If you couldn't connect or have any questions, you can always leave comments below, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And again, thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for more MGO movies.